Welcome to my System.io website tutorial. Here I'm going to be showing you how to create a website with System.io and if you'd like to follow along I will leave my link in the description and if you click that you can actually try it for free and just go step by step in this tutorial along with me. Let's begin. So what we want to do once you have your account and you're in it you want to go to the blog section right here which is where I already am and from there click on create. Yes it does say blogs but this is probably one of the best ways to create a website using System. So I'm going to give it a name, I'm just going to call it Marketing Island, and for this specifically I'm just going to call it MI to abbreviate it. Now what you can do here is go through and look at some of the templates. If one catches your eye right off the bat, you can certainly go with it, but I like the clean ones that are pretty simple. Uh, that are lighter as well. I think they're easier on the eyes. I think this one looks fantastic. Even though it says health blog doesn't mean we can't change it. Let's click on preview just to take a look. All right, and I think this one looks fantastic. We can easily add a logo here. It already has the links at the top for the main aspects of our blog. We can change this around easily, and it's overall geared towards having blog posts too, which obviously these are just placeholders. We can delete this as well. Let's go with this one. So I'm gonna exit out of the preview, click on select template, and then save. All right, so now that it's been created, let's click on the name of it. All right, and so here we are. There's gonna be a few sections that I just wanna make sure that you are familiar with. At the top here, we have posts, pages, and categories. These are the posts that have already been created. Of course, it's under weight loss and stuff similar, but we can delete those, not a big deal. We have pages. These are gonna be the main pages that are created that we saw up at top. The home page we previewed, we also have a post list page, about and contact. And of course, we have categories. Don't worry about these. You can always change these around very easily. The first thing I wanna do is go to the blog layout. This is pretty much gonna be like the header and the footer, as it says, edit elements that are displayed on all blog posts and pages. So I wanted to showcase this first in case you wanted to change around say your logo You're not going to be able to do it on each specific page It's just going to be in this specific section So what I want to do is go up here and click here and then I want to click on the gear As you can see this is where our image file is going to be So I'm actually going to open up my logo or just upload it I'm going to go to the cloud right here if you don't have one not a big deal You know you can always just delete it or add in text, but I'm going to go to your images since I've already uploaded it before, I'm gonna click on it and then simply do insert. You'll notice it's very big, obviously, so what I can do here is just go to image size right here and make it much smaller so it kind of fits with the rest of everything else. All right, great, so I think that looks great just like that. I like the color too, it's actually similar to the one I use. Uh, and down at the bottom, we have some other aspects here, so this we can just like double click. Okay, so I just put Marketing Island is all about helping you launch your digital business. If you wanted to add each of your specific sections here, for example, like this is LinkedIn, you can just link to wherever you need to go. And so it would be something like this, linkedin.com and then your username, you can do open in a new window. That's how you would edit those around for YouTube, say for everything else here. But let's say you didn't have, which one is this here? It's hard to see. It's funny because you have to keep that open. So uh, that, that's Twitter, that's LinkedIn. Let's just say you didn't have Twitter, right? Let's delete that. And what we can do is delete that one and say that one. Maybe you just had a LinkedIn, whatever it's going to be, right? Obviously you can keep those. This is gonna be good to keep here. These are the main sections of our website. So let's keep that there. These are gonna be mostly the categories. So you can always change that around later and obviously link to them. For example, what you would do is go right here and then simply type in a URL to link to categories that we have. And of course, this is gonna be a text box where people can subscribe. I personally don't care for having one at the bottom down there. So what I'm actually gonna do is delete this. We can always create a separate page if needed. And I do have a landing page tutorial if you need help when it comes to creating something where you can get people to subscribe. So in fact, if we wanted to just delete this, we can have the categories elsewhere. So I think this is gonna be the best contact articles about home. And we have the top as well that we saw. Let's click on save. And let's just preview it real quick so you can see what it looks like. Okay, obviously that's gonna be the content placeholder. So the reason why I did this first is because this top and this bottom is gonna be on all of your pages and that's how you edit it. So important to do that first. Okay, let's go back using this button here. And so let's go back to our pages. Let's start with the home page. So what we can do is go right here. We can do view, edit, duplicate, don't use blog layout, but I'm gonna go with edit. There we are. So as you see, we now have our logo and everything up top. So we can just do marketing island. And once again, I'm just gonna do like what it's about, you know, launch your digital biz, okay? 
And if we go down here, you click on this right here, it's gonna be the carousel. So this is gonna be the latest post. So latest blog post carousel. Let's say we wanna do the last two and you can just kind of change around whether you wanna be specific categories here. You can do left of text, you can do above text. I think it looks fine. A lot of that's gonna be the aesthetics part. So I'm gonna keep it like that and we're scrolling down. This is gonna be the category section where we can always change that around later once I show you how to do that. And these are all gonna be placeholders. If you click on this, it's gonna automatically update whenever you add a new blog post or you delete it and so on and so forth. If I go back to here, we could say like, you know, maybe, maybe we wanna do three. Three looks fine, okay? We can also change around how they look in terms of the post, but I think that looks just fine. So I'm gonna click on save changes and let's go back here. Let's go through with each of these pages, okay? So we have our post list page. Let's just take a view at what this looks like, okay? So once again, this is gonna be auto-updated with the blog post that we have. In fact, I'll show you how to create a new one so you can see what it looks like. So we're not gonna do too much editing there, which is good. We have our about page, let's edit this one. Okay, so say I wanted to change this, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna do your images. I do have a picture of me, let's add that in there. And I am way too big there, so let's get a little bit smaller. We do about James. I'm not gonna bore you with my life and what's going on and all that stuff, but this is where we can go in and change it around, okay? We also have our team, and if you'll notice, maybe you don't have a big team. In fact, what you can do is just maybe, you know, use one of these and put yourself in it, but in fact, I would just go in and delete all of this, make life much easier. You can always do the, keep the contact us here. There's also gonna be a contact page, but if you wanted to add this here as well, what we can do is go here, and what we can do is link to our contact page. So we can actually go right here, link to a blog post or a blog page. And we can go to select and we can do contact. And we can save that. And just like that, it's gonna link to the contact page so they can get straight to that. So that one's pretty straightforward. Probably not the best picture, it looks floating and so on and so forth, but I just wanna showcase how you can edit it very quickly to your style, obviously. Let's go back. And last but not least, we have our contact page. So let's do edit. All right, so this looks fantastic. I love the colors on it. it. looks pretty good here. Once again, there's some other things here. Probably don't need all this. So what I'm gonna do, if we hover over this, you're gonna see the green outline and where it goes. That's pretty much gonna delete a lot of this white section. So I'm gonna delete that. Perfect, I think that's fantastic. So if we go to contact us here, you know, and it says text after submission, uh, thank you for your request, we will contact you soon, uh, and so on and so forth. There's the I'm not a robot section. We have the submit button. Uh, this is gonna be submitting and so on and so forth. So not a whole lot going on here. Obviously we have the message, uh, this is the placeholder and I think that looks fine here. Trusted by, we have a few things we haven't used here but in case you haven't been trusted by too many companies yet, maybe you're brand new, maybe you don't even need that. I'm just showcasing how you can delete them. We can get rid of that as well. Fill out the form and someone from our team will get back to you as soon as possible. You know, this is just click to edit. I'm gonna save this. Okay. All right, so there's one thing I do wanna show you. There's a few things actually, but if we go to view blog, we are gonna to wanna to edit our titles up top. So if you'll notice, we have home here. And if you look at the links on the bottom, it says system.io slash blog template 71. This says contact. If we click on it, it's gonna give us our non-updated version. So all we need to do is just edit these so that they're the appropriate links. So what I can do is go back here so for example, we have a blog layout here. I'm just gonna open this in a new tab. And now what we can do is go to the menu here, and here we are. So home right here. What I'm actually gonna do is go to the specific end right here. So we have our home page. I'm just gonna copy this link. I wanna make sure it's always this one. And what I'm gonna do is just do custom URL, and we can add that in there. So next is gonna be contact. I'm going back over here. I just wanna copy this. I wanna make sure it always goes to that specific section. So we have a just custom URL. Then we have our blog, right? Which is gonna be the post right here. And we can do custom URL. And then we have about. Let's copy this. I think I could just go, yeah, copy. It's the same thing, but okay. Let's go to custom URL and that. And of course on the bottom as well, remember these are gonna be specific links. Let's change these around as well. So this is gonna be homepage. Let's save that. Next is gonna be about. We have right here. Let's copy this. Let's highlight this. Let's link. 
Let's type in that. Let's save it. Next is going to be articles, which is just going to be the um, post page list. Let's paste that in and save it. We're going to do the last thing for contact. And let's save that. Okay, make sure we do save changes. And now we can exit out. So if we go back to pages, what we can do is just do view blog. So we just want to make sure that when we hover over it, if you look at the bottom right, it says MI then contact. So MI post, MI about, and if we go down here, uh, MI, MI about, MI articles, and MI contact. So we can actually click on them now, and it's going to go to the appropriate pages regardless of where we are. You notice how we edited that around. This is going to be our specific blog, and this is going to be our about. Fantastic. So. Probably the last thing we need to do is just showcase when it comes to creating your blogs, your blog posts. So categories, even if we don't need these, uh, it's not gonna delete any of these blog posts if we get rid of them. Let's say if we're not doing any weight loss stuff, I'm just gonna go through and delete these very quickly for you. Aside from the last one, which is all. I'm not sure if you can delete that. Let me check for you though. Okay, you can delete that. I'd recommend keeping it though. So let's say we have a new category. This one's gonna be social media marketing, okay? I'm just gonna copy this, social media marketing, let's say related post. This is gonna be for the SEO title. If you go over it, it says, this is the page title that Google and most other search engines show in search results. Okay, then SEO description. You can make it a little bit longer. I'm just gonna keep it simple. Probably not gonna be ranking for social media marketing anytime soon, just so you know. So let's click on save. If I wanted to add a new category, I'll do the same thing one more time. Let's just do email marketing. And I'm just gonna you know, copy and paste these in just to make it quick. You can add a little bit more if needed, okay? And we have save. What we can also do now is go back to post. So if we wanna create a new post, what we can do is click on create. So this is gonna be YouTube Marketing 101. Okay, I'm gonna copy that in there. Allow me to get an image very quickly. All right, I'm gonna go to choose file. Looks good, I got a free image from Pexels. Uh, they're just royalty free images I'm gonna use as an example. This is social media marketing and I'll probably just put it under all as well and click on save. Okay, now what we can do is go over here, we can do uh, edit. All right, so we have our elements. So we're gonna have our headline here, right? This is called, I think, uh, YouTube Marketing 101. And that's gonna be preview. And now we just have simple text going underneath add your text, obviously, for your blog post. So we have our text there, but it's in the center. So what I wanna do is go right here to alignment, and this is gonna be where you added your text for your blog post, right? And you can continue on with that process if you wanted to add any image. The cool thing about this is that this is the drag and drop builder, so you can drag in things that you need, obviously, images, videos, audios, and so on and so forth. But I am just gonna save this. I'm not gonna go through with actually creating a blog post for you. I wanna go back. And once we are done, we can activate it as well. So I can go here and we can just do activate. You can also schedule it, but I'm gonna go with activate and publish or activate now, there we go. So now if we go to view blog, we have our latest post right here, which is YouTube Marketing 101. Uh, we also have it right here. And this is gonna be where we're gonna wanna change around our categories. I did delete them, but they are gonna stay there. So if you do change that around, make sure you add them in. I can also click right here just to show you what it looks like. Okay, that's going to be the specific blog post we just created. And last but not least, I will show you how to change those around the uh, blog category. So we go to pages here, we go to home page. And we have right here, so for example, let's say, I'm just gonna delete that, there we go. I'm just going in and uh, removing the text. This was uh, social media. Okay, so I'm gonna click in here I'm gonna do social media marketing. All right, so let's highlight this. Let's click on the link. Let's do the uh, type, let's click on this right here so we can link to a blog post or blog page. We can select, and this is gonna be social media marketing. Make sure I click on this right here for the save button, and then let's do save changes. So I wanna go back to my homepage. I'm just gonna refresh this. Now you'll notice, there we go, social media marketing, now it's linked. 
and perfect. That's going to be the one that we just created. And if we go back, we can go to all the posts, which is going to have these. Like I said before, you can just delete these. These are just going to be placeholders. But nevertheless, that's going to wrap up the system.io website tutorial. Here I showed you how to create a website, which is going to showcase having your home, your logo, your text, some blog posts. We had a contact page. We had a blog post. We had an about page. I showed you how to add and edit the categories and a few other things. But if you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I hope you got some value out of this. And of course, if you want to test out system.io, I will leave that link in the description down below where you can try them out for free. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.